Good morning everyone. Today yet another topic of molecular biology uh, will be discussed with you that is the different types of RNA and on the first slide itself you can see the different types of RNAs. The most commonly known types are the mRNA, the tRNA and the rRNA. But apart from these three commonly known RNAs, the eukaryotes have many other types of RNAs and their functions are different. So today that is exactly what we will try and discuss. So RNA are of two types basically. The first type is the coding RNA. It is that RNA which codes for proteins and the second uh, category of RNAs include the non-coding RNAs which means these RNA do not form any proteins. So if you remember in transcription when the mRNA is formed it has exons and introns. The exons are those parts which code for uh, proteins whereas the introns are those parts which do not form any proteins. So the non-coding RNAs include the introns. So what are these non-coding and coding RNAs? So coding RNAs generally refers to mRNA that encodes for proteins. The, un the untranslated region of RNA are non-coding sequences. They do not code for any proteins but they have other roles to play in the body and introns are the uh, non-coding sections of RNA transcript. So all this while we knew that the introns are of no use but now it has been fully established that introns which are the non-coding sections of RNA transcript have very important roles to play in gene regulation and other activities of the cell. So the definition of non-coding RNA is that it they the non-coding RNAs act as cellular regulators. The uh, regulatory non-coding RNAs are produced only at certain stages of organism's development, cell differentiation or in response to external stimuli which means they are not always active. They are produced only when they are necessary for the organism's development, its cell differentiation or there is any external stimulus. While the housekeeping non-coding RNAs are those RNAs which are always expressed that is they are constitutively expressed and they are sometimes known as riboregulators. So the non-coding RNA types can be classified into two types that is the regulatory non-coding RNA which regulate gene expression and the housekeeping non-coding RNA which are involved in mRNA maturation and protein synthesis. Now the regulatory non-coding RNAs are further classified into small RNA which have less than 200 nucleotides. These includes microRNA. They target stability and translation. The small interfering RNA also known as siRNA they are used or they play a role in gene silencing and the PV interacting RNA which are also involved in gene sil silencing specifically the retrotransposons. The other category of regulatory non-coding RNAs are long RNAs which are more than 200 nucleotides and they include long non-coding RNAs which again are seen in playing a role in gene expression regulation and circular RNA which also have a role in regulation of gene expression. So as you can see the regulatory non-coding RNAs have a huge role in gene expression and its regulation. Now the second category that is the housekeeping non-coding RNA which are always active they are further classified into ribosomal RNA. They are involved in protein synthesis, transfer RNA, they are involved in protein synthesis. Then the small nuclear RNA that is SNRNA, they 
are catalytic in nature and they carry out RNA splicing and the small nuclear RNA that is SNO RNA they are involved in methylation and pseudo uridylation so these are the this is the classification of non coding RNA now coding RNAs in eukaryotes are those RNAs which are translated when translated or when undergo translation they form proteins that RNA includes only one type that is mRNA and it has more than 10 raised to the power 5 different species all the rest of the RNAs are the non coding RNAs and these include these include HNRNA which are the unprocessed mRNA and it is the precursor form of mRNA or other RNAs and they are found in the nucleus. The other non-coding RNAs include rRNA. They are of five, four types, 28S, 18S, 5.8S and 5S. They form the major bulk of non-coding RNAs or major bulk of RNAs found in the eukaryotes they carry they have a catalytic role and they are involved in protein synthesis the long non-coding rnas having around more than thousand types their abundance is one to two percent and they are involved in gene expression regulation at chromatin level transcription level and translation level so the classification of non-coding RNAs in eukaryote continues. The second category of non-coding RNAs include the small non-coding RNAs whose length is less than 200 base pairs. These include tRNA which has 73 to 93 base pairs approximately 15% of total RNA carries out protein translation. The sCRNA includes the uh, have less than 100 bases and it forms less than 1% of the total RNA it is involved in signal recognition and tRNA processing they are catalytic in nature the SNPs in have 900 90 to 300 nucleotides and they uh, form less than 1% of the total RNA they carry out the function of mRNA processing uh, they also carry out poly poly a tail addition so they are catalytic in nature the small nucleolar rna have 60 to 300 bases less than 1% of total rna um, and rrn involved in rrna processing its maturation and methylation the other two in, uh, RNAs of small non-coding types include mRNA, miRNA that is micro RNA and the small interfering RNA. The micro RNA has 21 to 23 bases. The uh, small interfering RNA have 19 to 25 base pairs. Uh, they compose of less than 1% of total RNA and they are regulatory in nature and the regulation of they regulate transcription and translation the uh, one more type of known non-coding RNA is the PI RNA the PI RNA is known as the PV interacting RNA this was first discovered in the drosophila and it has 21 to 35 nucleotides it's in it is involved in uh, silencing of transposon posable elements uh, regulates gene expression it fights viral infection and it acts as guide to the PV proteins uh, to cleave target RNA promote heterochromatin assembly and also in DNA methylation so these are the various types of small uh, sorry non coding RNAs known in eukaryotes and the discovery is still going on so in a few years we may know that there are many more non-coding RNAs that are known today.
The significance of non-coding RNAs is that they do not form proteins but they have a lot of role to play in the process of translation and gene regulation. So they are uh, not uh, useless part of the uh, uh, mRNA or any RNA. In fact, they have a huge role in our uh, gene regulation. Thank you. Have a good day.